So we're back and we have my beautiful wife Dina here who is a real estate agent who is going to talk about some of the things you need to do when you're choosing an agent and why that's important. Dina? Okay, so... <laughs> And now Megan's cracking up. <laughs> you are out there for the first time. You're looking at purchasing a home, maybe, or you know, maybe you gave up a while ago, and there you're back, and you're looking at buying homes and understanding uh, how important it is to have an agent um, to represent you or to help you. Some people kind of do it backwards. They um, start looking at a home first. You find something that you like, and then you call whoever. And then you start talking to an agent and you think that's the one maybe that's going to be there to help you. But you really need to do your due diligence in finding the right agent, someone that's going to represent you well. Because it has more to do with not just the house. Um, you know, what is that agent's background? What do they bring to the table? How long have they been in business? How well can they negotiate? Because right now in this market where we are, February 2022, it's a very tight market. Uh, relationships are everything here. Um, do you have someone that has very good relationships in their demographic area where other agents know who they are? So it has more to do with just the house and you know the price and all that. So an agent needs to be able to take you through the process from you getting your pre-approval letter to finding homes, making sure it's the right fit, um, making sure that you're not choosing a home that is going to give you a lot of problems later on that maybe you could have discovered in the very beginning there were all these issues um, so you want someone that's going to be upfront and honest with you someone that hopefully has already bought their own home and maybe has investment properties as well and has an eye for the good the bad and everything in between so from an agent's perspective, the way I look at homes is would I buy that home or would I not buy that home? Why or why not? And I explain that to buyers and I tell them from my perspective why I love this home or why I don't like this home or what I could do to improve it. I try to get people to understand, you know, what a home's potential could be and what it already has. I also talk to them about new construction because a lot of people think I can't afford new construction. Uh, I don't need an agent for new construction, but that's so far from the truth. Because an agent can have the negotiating skills to find out a lot more than you can in that community what a builder is willing to do or not willing to do. So an agent's job, I mean we wear many, many hats throughout the process, but it's to keep things moving slowly and to keep your best as best interest in mind always and sometimes unfortunately maybe into a deal we figure out this is just not going to be the right thing for you and having someone that will speak up and tell you that instead of just trying to get the deal done so it you know I could go on on and on about it but just make sure that you pick someone you feel like has the background you feel like you trust them you feel like they're going to get the jobs done and maybe research these agents to find out do they have a good following do they have a bad track record ask them for perhaps referrals if you know you you feel like you need them if you just you know you're not certain um so yeah jim what are your thoughts well i was going to ask you what do you think about the agents that are like family members or that are part-time agents so i you know i'm not going to discount the role that you know a family member could Play or you know a part-time agent certainly they got their license for a reason but it begs the question you know does a family member know what they're doing can they represent you well to the best of their ability uh, a part-time agent why are they only part-time why are they not making this a career um, you know and believing in themselves enough where this is what you do so for me I've been in this since 1993 I live breathe and eat real estate so for me, there's no backup plan. I don't think, you know, if you're going to be in real estate, there should not be a backup plan. This should be what you do to represent people well. Because if you call your agent and they're not available, they're at work, you know, they're uh, on another appointment um, that has nothing to do with real estate. And, you know, you're just finding those excuses over and over and over again. Well, the proof is right there. Family members sometimes aren't the best people to represent you. You know, we're very comfortable sometimes with family. And we maybe perhaps don't give the best service. So that's why some buyers just don't want to use family members. Some, you know, can do incredible jobs for people. It just depends. Again, what is their track record? 
Yeah, and, and I think the, the important part is, it doesn't matter how long you've been in the business, it doesn't matter whether you're full-time, part-time, um, what does matter is how aggressive the agent is, how experienced they are, and how willing they are to go after the home for you. Talk to all, the, interview the agents and find out from them what your gut feeling is, and you'll know if you have a good feeling about them, you trust your gut. If you think something might not be right, uh, or you feel like you're not getting the truth, because you need to be able to trust them. If that's not the case, then you may just have to keep looking until you find somebody, but you need to be comfortable with them, because this is probably the most expensive thing you're gonna be buying in your life, a home. So it, you gotta be able to trust the agent that's working uh, uh, with you, and possibly also their team uh, on that as well. But don't be afraid to reach out and talk to different agents and get a good feeling from one of them, and then you can pick. And that's it for this one, that, uh, this season. Let's start over. That's it for this session. Uh, let us know in the comments if you have any questions about picking an agent.